Hello, I'm Rock and I visited beautiful and amazing medieval Tuscan city of Siena. If you're interested in how expensive is Siena, you will find out in this video. To better understand prices, I will first explain Siena's position and its economy. Then we'll look at accommodation prices, prices of parking and public transport. Then I will cover admissions for main attractions. Next, I will talk about prices of food and drinks. And in the end, we will place Siena on my expensive scale from 1 to 10. Three cities, Florence, Pisa and Siena were once great rivals. Today, they are part of the Italian region of Tuscany and are backbone of every must-see list of Tuscany. Besides tourism, the confectionery industry is also important because of Siena's many local specialties. Banking sector is also very important since Siena has headquarter of the oldest bank still in existence. Siena also has two universities, including one of the oldest one in Europe, founded in 1240. Students from around the world come to study language, art and architecture. The golden days of Siena lasted for more than 400 years, when Siena was a republic. In the golden days, Siena's most popular attractions were created, like the cathedral, its main square with town hall and tower, and its rich medieval art collection. As you can see, there are many reasons why Siena is popular. But city's small size means its resources are limited, and that is why Siena's popularity doesn't come cheap. If you want to stay close to the city center or inside the city walls, the list of hotels is short. Siena is popular year-round and prices of accommodation stay pretty much the same throughout the year. Since Siena is in the middle of rolling Tuscan hills, one option is to stay in the country houses or villas. In the range of 5 kilometers or 3 miles from the historic city center, you can stay in villa or country house where room costs from 80 to 250 euro per night. Staying closer to the walled historic city center offers the convenience of not needing public transport. Hostel bed in dorm room starts from 22 euros. Decent Airbnb place will cost you about 120 euro per night. And if you want the convenience of a hotel in the city center, prices start at around 70 euro for two-star hotel and go over 400 euro for a five-star hotel. Inside Siena city walls, expect to be walking. If you arrived in Siena with car, make sure you don't enter inside the city walls as the entire historic city center is traffic limited zone. The best idea is to park your car in one of the big public parking lots. One hour of parking is 2 euro. Tourists staying in hotels and other accommodation facilities in Siena are entitled to a discounted daily rate for parking in public car parks. Discounted daily rate is 25 instead of 35 euro. To apply a discount, your hotel will give you a QR code to be used at the automatic pay station. If you need public transport, buses and taxis are your only option. To use bus in Siena, you need to have a ticket. The single ticket costs 1.5 euro or 2.5 euro if you buy it from the driver. The 10 ride tickets costs 14 euro. Once you board the bus, you need to validate the ticket, so date and time are printed on. Tickets are valid for 70 minutes and during that time you can change bus lines. All taxis in Siena are using the same price list that should be on a visible spot in every car. Calling a taxi has a starting fare of 5.85 euro during the day and 7.95 euro during the nighttime and holidays. Getting a taxi from the taxi stand has a starting fare of 3.95 euro during the day or 
zero five euro during the night and holidays. The typical cost for a taxi between the train station and the city center is about 10 to 12 euro, maybe a bit more to get across town. To get from Florence to Siena, you can use bus or train. Trains for Siena leave Florence roughly once per hour. A one-way ticket is 8.60 euro and can be purchased at the station either at the ticket office or through the automatic machines. Remember to validate your ticket by getting it stamped at the platform before entering the train. If you go from Florence to Siena by bus, a one-way ticket is 7.80 euro if you buy it at the station beforehand or 10 euro if you buy it on the bus. To get from Pisa to Siena, train lives from Pisa Central Station or you can buy tickets that cost 10.80 euro. There are several bus operators that run between Pisa and Siena and the bus will cost you around 12 euro. The most famous landmark of Siena is its cathedral, known simply as the Duomo, and it offers many attractions. During winter months, from November to February, admission to the cathedral is free of charge. For the rest of the year, the ticket costs 5 euro, and it also gives you access to Piccolomini Library. The price of the ticket is raised to 8 euro when the inlaid floor is on display. If you also want to see other attractions offered by the cathedral, you should get OPA C Pass ticket. It gives you access to the cathedral, Piccolomini Library, the Crypt, Baptistry, Opera Museum and Panoramic Terrace atop the unfinished facade of the new cathedral. OPA C Pass costs 13 euro or 15 euro when the inlaid floor is on display. In the winter months, OPA C Pass is reduced to just 8 euro. Gate of Heaven ticket gives you the same access as OPA C Pass, with addition of access to the rooms high up in the cathedral roof and costs 20 euro. Another landmark of Siena is its picturesque tower on the main square that offers amazing panoramic views. Keep in mind that there are 400 steps to climb, so you should be in good shape. For most of the year, the tower is open from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., but in the winter time, the tower closes already at 4 p.m. Tickets must be purchased directly at the ticket office under the tower. Ticket to the top of the tower costs 10 euros. When visiting the tower, you should also consider visiting the impressive city hall with city museum. Ticket to see the city hall costs 9 euros. If you want to climb the tower and visit the city hall, you can save some money by getting a combined ticket that costs 15 euros. If you want to enjoy a nice cold beer on the main square in Siena, it's gonna cost you around 9.5 euros. If you just need a shot of a small Italian espresso, it's gonna be around 3 euros. Despite its size, Siena has many different restaurants. Very popular choice for quick snacks are pastry shops famous for traditional sweets. You can also find bakeries with sandwiches, slices of pizzas and other tempting food and coffee. Espresso will usually cost about 1.5 euro and croissant another 1.5 euro. Another cheap option are takeaway pizza places where you can get a whole pizza for less than 10 euro. If you sit down in regular restaurant and order one of many varieties of pasta with mineral water, it will cost you between 12 to 18 euro. A nice dinner with mineral water in one of the popular restaurant is from 25 to 35 euro. It's good to know that all restaurants in the historic city center are small since they are housed in old historic buildings. That is why you should plan ahead and make reservation. Buon appetito! We looked into costs of most basic services you would need during your visit in Siena. Now it's time to place Siena on my expensive scale from 1 to 10, where 1 means crazy cheap and 10 means crazy expensive. 
based on my analysis, I would give Sienna a 7.5, meaning it is slightly less expensive than Florence, but it is still expensive. Main reason for making Sienna expensive are its high prices of accommodation, taxi service and parking. Restaurants can be expensive, but you can also find cheap takeaway pizza places and many bakeries with affordable snacks. Besides its main attractions, you can also find many interesting places worth visiting and they don't require any tickets. Admission for visiting cathedral and its attractions is more affordable in the winter season, but no matter when you decide to visit Siena, it offers unique, charming and unforgettable medieval experience and is well worth the price. If you like this video, give us thumbs up, don't be shy and use the comment section below to share your experience, your thoughts and your ideas about Siena. And don't forget to hit a subscribe button. This way you will help us create more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you next time.